Now, six years after the much-loved old double-decker Routemaster bus was taken off London's roads, the first of the new-style hop-on, hop-off buses has been rolled off the production line. Well, the Mayor, Boris Johnson, got to drive the first one in Northern Ireland today, just a few years after promising to bring the buses back as an election pledge. Well, our transport correspondent, Tom Edwards, looks at how the bill for the new buses will be paid and how green the new red bus will be. A thumbs up from the mayor driving the first new bus prototype off the production line. It's claimed it'll be the most environmentally friendly bus of its kind. It emits much less CO2, big fuel reduction, 11.6 uh, miles per gallon, and you've got a big reduction in nitrous oxide as well. Plus, you're giving back to the, the streets of London the hop-on, hop-off feature that was, was, I think, wrongly taken away. And uh, you're giving London, I think, a beautiful, iconic bus that is once again tailored for their needs. Eight are being built in Northern Ireland, costing £11 million, including research and development. It has three entrances, two staircases and the open platform, and was an election manifesto pledge. There's a lot of buses in London, as, as everybody knows, and the potential for this bus, I think, will stretch to at least several hundred in the nation's capital. This is a mock-up of the new bus at the Transport Museum. And nearly four years after this process started, we are actually no nearer to knowing the details of how this hop-on, hop-off platform is going to be staffed and when and if the new bus is going to be rolled out into the entire bus fleet. Extra crew could be PCSOs, but Labour says more staff could cost an extra £54 million a year. TfL says it doesn't recognise those figures. Every bus should be a piece of street furniture. And that's what this bus is. It's a and how green is the hybrid new bus? In tests, it did 11.8 miles per gallon. TfL says that compares favourably to the hybrid average of 8.6. But there are already hybrids that do 9.9 .9 mpg. There's no financial provision for rolling out the route master. Um, and I think environmentally uh, there's a lot of evidence that suggests that the hybrid buses that are now available are just as good and actually a lot cheaper to, uh, to build and buy. The first will be tested on the streets of the capital in December. The mayor's confident it will be the first of many. Tom Edwards, BBC London News. OK, let's move on to sport now. There's a lot.